Hello family, welcome back to this channel again. It's me, your girl, Tuluwa Lope, Olamide. How is everything? How is family? How is work? I believe everything is fine. God will bless us and help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, uh, let me use this opportunity to thank you all my subscribers, all the subscribers of this family. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much and God Almighty will continue to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. To my viewers, if you are new to this channel, please use this opportunity to join us in this family. Be part of us fully. Do not just watch our videos. Be part of us by subscribing into this channel and turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, then you'll be part of those that will be notified. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you for your support. I really appreciate everyone in this family. Thank you very much. In today's video, there is a topic I would like to share with you and the topic is the power of showing gratitude to God in an advance. The power of showing gratitude to God in an advance. I'm going to split this topic into two forms so that you can understand. But I'm not going to take much of your time. But I'm going to split it into two. The number one is, why did you need to show gratitude to God in an advance? And how can you show gratitude? to God in an advance. Number one, why did you need to show gratitude to God in an advance? Showing gratitude to God in an advance, even though when you haven't get anything concerning all those things that you have in your mind. Showing gratitude to God in an advance is a way of expressing your faith and your belief in Christ Jesus. You are telling him that even though you haven't do anything for me, even though you haven't do all those things I've been asking you, but I was just appreciating you by, I was, I was just showing my faith in you by showing gratitude, by appreciating you, by thanking you, even when I haven't got the result of those things that I need from you. Let me give you an illustration about what I'm saying about the kind of gratitude that I'm talking about so that you can be able to understand me. A woman that woke up in the morning and started appreciating her husband, even when she have not get anything from that mother day, but she just woke up and started appreciating him, started praising him. The man will now ask that, honey, why are you praising me? Why are you thanking me? Have I done anything for you this morning? The man is going to ask that question. Yes, but it is not the woman that will not respond as, Oni, I was just appreciating you because I knew that what I'm about to ask from you, you are capable of doing it and you are going to do it for me. That is what the woman will say because he needs that thing. So he knew that the husband is capable of doing it. That was why he was appreciating his husband. Now let me give, let me give you another illustration. A child that was appreciating his parents even when he hasn't received anything from that parent. The parents are they are going to ask, the, ask him or her that why are you thanking me? Why are, why are, why is there anything? Have I done something for you that I'm not even aware of? So the child will now say, Daddy, I believe you are my father, and I believe that whatever I ask from you, that you are going to do it for me. Because I know you are capable of it. God is capable of anything. Is capable of doing anything in our life. We all knew that, that there is nothing that is too hard for God to do. So showing appreciation, even if the father doesn't have it in mind to do anything for the child that day, they are going to do it in order to honor the faith that the child has in them. So when you begin to show appreciation to God, even when you haven't received anything, towards all those things that you have in your mind, then God is going to honor your faith. There is an added that said respect in a reciprocal. So when you show respect to God, when you, when, when you show faith, when you express your faith to God, by thanking Him, by showing Him gratitude in an advance to all those things that you need, then God Almighty will surely respect you back. Then He will honor that your request that you were about to ask from Him. So that is the number one power that attached to being showing gratitude to God in an advance. Let me, even you yourself as a person that you are watching me right now, let's assume that you are my friend or you are my father, you are my mother. And all of a sudden, I just started thanking you without, without having received anything from you. You are going to ask me that, my friend, 
my daughter, why are you thanking me? Even that thing that I'm about to ask, even if you don't have, if you do not have that thing, you are going to promise me that, okay, don't worry, I will do it for you. But God owns everything. He has everything in his hand. So he will do it for you without delaying it at all. So that is the number one power of showing gratitude to God in an advance. It will help you to, re to receive on time. It will help you to receive that thing that you know even more than what you are about to ask for because you are expressing your faith to him. And the Bible makes us understand that without faith, there is no how we can please God. So definitely if you express your faith towards God, if you express your faith to him, definitely you are pleasing him. So you please God, then God Almighty will not please you as well, even abundantly more than what you are asking for, even more than your expectation. More than your thoughts, God is going to honor your faith. Let's look at an example of those that honored God, that showed faith to Jesus Christ and what they got at the end of the day. In the book of Matthew chapter 8, I'll read from, the story started from verse 5 to 13, but not to take much of your time, so I will advise you to go out and read it, but I will just give you a brief shot about it. I will just brief it so that you can understand it even before you read the chapters. There is a man that came to Jesus Christ that his servant was sick, that Jesus should come and heal the servant. And Jesus Christ said to him, I will come and heal him. Or that I, I will come and heal him. He didn't say, let us go so that I can heal him. He said, I will come. That I will come might not be that day. I will come my be tomorrow. I will come my be next week. Because Jesus Christ didn't give that man the exact time that he will come to come and heal the servant. But the man said to him, I am not worthy of inviting you into my house. Just speak a word. Just speak a word and my servant will be healed. So the man showed faith to God. Do you remember what Jesus Christ said? Jesus Christ said to him, I have never found a so great faith in this, not even in Israel. Because it was marveled, the Bible makes us understand that Jesus Christ was marveled when he heard that man saying it, that I am not worthy of inviting you into my house. Just speak a word. A word is going to heal the servant. So the man showed faith. And Jesus Christ later said to him that go thy way, for thy faith will make the child to be healed. And the servant was healed. Another woman in Matthew chapter 15, the woman came to Jesus Christ to come and heal her daughter. She, that she was vexed with the spirit of the devil. And Jesus Christ said to him, The meat, the bread for the children, are not meant for the dogs. And the woman said, Yes, but the dogs can eat from the crumbles that came from the bread of the children. And Jesus Christ said, You, uh, O woman of great faith, be it unto you as you wish. Be it unto you as you wish. And immediately the child was healed. That is what we call faith. They both showed faith to Jesus Christ and immediately they received their healing. If you can remember the first one that I just said, Jesus Christ said, I will come and heal him, not immediately. And the second woman, Jesus Christ is not ready to heal the child at that particular time. But because they expressed their faith in the presence of Jesus, then they receive the both the both children both receive their healing that self same time. In that chapter, in that chapter, chapter eight, verse thirteen, the Bible says that the child was healed that self same time, and the woman in that chapter fifteen said the child was ill at the same hour. So if you are showing gratitude to God in an advance towards what you are asking for or towards what you haven't even asked for, but you have it in mind in asking for all those things, definitely you should be expecting your answer that particular moment. Number two, how you can show gratitude to God. The only way you can show gratitude to God is through prayer. The only way you can show gratitude to God in advance is through prayer. I am not seen by requesting. This kind of prayer is going to be different. I will give you an illustration on how I used to do my home. I will show you where I wrote it down and I picked it every morning and I read it to God that God, 
thank you yes they should be my request but i am not asking i am not requesting for anything this time because i am showing gratitude i am appreciating god i am thanking god in an advance so i am not requesting the ways you can show gratitude to god in an advance in an advance is not by requesting but is by thanking god even when you haven't get that thing god i thank you for making me an overcomer above every obstacle thank you for making me an overcomer above every obstacle thank you for making me an overcomer above the obstacles of today you are waking up early in the morning and you are telling god thank you for making me to overcome the obstacles of today even though if your enemy if they have a lot of plans if they have a lot of bad things that they wanted to do to you that day because you have let god know that god i thank you because you have made me to overcome the obstacle their, their problem their plans their evil deeds then definitely god is going to make you to overcome all those things it is not possible for you to see that you overcome the obstacles but you should know that those your enemy they never wish you good they can never wish you good they will always be planning something bad towards you but when you have put god ahead of you then that shows that you are let god know that god i must overcome the obstacles of today and number two thank you lord jesus for being in total control of my life even though you don't understand how that your life is going but you are thanking God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking total control of my life. You don't even understand. Even maybe you don't even know what you are going to hit tomorrow or even that, that morning. Thank you for being in total control of my life. God that is in total control of your life will never allow you to be hungry. He will never allow you to starve. So he will never allow you to go broke. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the financial breakthrough of today. You are in need of money. You don't even have a dime in your account, but you are just thanking God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the financial breakthrough of today. Definitely, God will just... Have I done something from this child? Even when you don't have money in your account, definitely you are telling God that, God, I need to be okay today. I need money to spend today. I need money to do some things today. Thank you for the financial breakthrough. Thank you for providing that money for me. So thank you, God, in an advance. Instead of requesting, but now turn those requests into thanksgiving. Yes, turn those your requests into testimony, into thanksgiving. That is a way that you can show God gratitude, appreciation by expressing your faith to Him. These are my own. I pick them up every in the morning and I read it. And trust me. <laughs> There are some things that I don't even believe in my own life that God has started doing in my life. I was like, God, you are so amazed. If you don't serve God, if you don't move more closer to God, you might think that maybe God is a quarrel person or maybe God is not watching you or maybe God is not, maybe God doesn't even see you. But the more you move closer to him, the more you get to know the kind of God we have. Thank you very much for this video. This is all I have for today. Thank you very much. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please, I beg you in the name of God, subscribe to this channel. Be part of us in this family. Mm, I beg you, subscribe to this family. Be part of us. And turn on your notification bell so that you'll be seeing any video that I upload. Thank you very much. And please make sure that you share this video. Let people benefit. And also at the comment section, please drop your comments. I love to be seeing comments in that comment section because I will want to know maybe the videos that I'm doing, maybe they are making sense or not. On it, maybe I should, as in you understand. So please drop your comment at the section box. Let me read your comments. Ask me a question. And I also now will ask you a question. When you ask me a question, I am benefiting from you. Because the more you ask me, the more I will take my time to go more deep into the scriptures. Yes. And if you ask me the question, and I also am going to ask the question. So the more I am asking you a question, the, you will not want to fail me. You will want to answer that question very well. 
because you want to make me happy and same applicable to me i want to make you happy so in order for you to make you happy i have to go more into the scriptures and in order for you also to make me happy you will have to go more in, into the scriptures to read more and why is it the more you are reading the scriptures <laughs> the more you will know how god is but without reading the scripture without going through the scripture it will be little difficult not even little don't let me say little because if i say little i'm lying so i do not have to lie i will tell you the truth the more you go into the scripture the more you will know how powerful this our god is thank you very much have a wonderful day bye bye